rhyme I have named it. A desolate age with a beauty that is quite different than I expected or imagined. The intricate feathers of ice that fall from the sky are awe-inspiring. I actually quite like that, feathers of ice. I feel as though I could sit and watch them for hours. And though it is cold here, like I have never experienced before, I find myself enjoying the change of temperature, for it is unlike any other place that I have ever seen. Perhaps the oddest thing is the silence. Although the wind blows on occasion, when it ceases there is a suffocating silence that falls on this place, broken only by the distant cries of unseen creatures. I have visited three times and I'm sure now that this age will provide the environment I need. I believe the cold temperature is necessary for obtaining the correct resonance. Examining the structure of the books is ever more perplexing, but I am driven onward by my need to understand. The great tree of possibilities can never be fully grasped, but I must be at least Oh, sorry. I must at least try to find one particular branch. On the subject of enlightenment, I would also like to find the cause of the mysterious lights that shine in the darkness here. Though I have never assumed that I would be able to build especially fast here, the speed at which I am progressing is somewhat disappointing. I do think I will bring Cirrus and Akanar here. Oh, sorry. I do think I'll bring Cirrus and Akanar as well as some of the machinery from Selenitic. Akanar chose to stay with Catherine, but Cirrus was rather excited to come. He has spent the last few days here with me, helping me with the beginning phases of construction. He too seems to enjoy the ice and cold weather. He is intrigued with the crystals that we have brought with us. He has been a big help, as have others, and I hope to be able to begin my experiments here soon. Tonight, Cirrus and I found a wondrous spot to view the lights, although it seems they decided to hide from us. After sitting in the cold winds for over two hours, we saw nothing. It was rather disappointing. Cirrus will return to Mist tomorrow. He has been a tremendous aid to me and I am thankful for his willingness to help. The hard part of the construction is over, although I have decided after tonight that I would like to add some kind of observation post. I won't be finished as soon as I had hoped, although I am fairly certain I will be worth the, it will be worth the delay in the long run. I have decided to take a break from the construction now that the tunnel is almost complete and I have been able to set up a temporary space where the crystals will not be stimulated. I am quite convinced that with the right diffractive resonance certain properties of the ink can be or simulated. Catherine still finds it absurd and thinks I am crazy to assume I will be able to view ages with stones but her usual, uh, unusual pessimism has not convinced me to stop trying. I came too close to success on Everdunes. I am fairly certain now that temperature indeed does have an effect on the crystals, but I have realised that temperature alone is not enough. The cold dampens some of the sympathetic harmon harmonics, but a more active suppressor is necessary. I have acquired some geodes with a pure protected crystalline interior. Thin slices of the geodes below each crystal provide a stabilising effect and even amplified the clean frequency slightly. After quite a bit of experimentation with the shapes and colours, I was able to capture a blurry image within a book. Though the link would never work, there was clearly an age on the other side. I can hardly wait to return and tell Catherine. I feel I should finish the shaft to my observation post while I have the machinery here, perhaps tomorrow morning. The lights were beautiful again last night. They had not shown themselves for so long that I had almost forgotten their beauty. I still must find the cause. I am feeling rather overwhelmed with what remains to be done. The crystals have not been perfected, the shaft is not finished, nor is the observation post or even the lab. I have not seen Catherine for some time and I long to spend more time with Akinar and Cirrus. Besides all of that, there are far, they are, uh, besides all of that, there are far away in the back of my mind the thoughts of my people and our lost city. I dreamt again of them last night. Yeah, right. Worth holding up. Yeah, your, your turn. <laughs> I have seen the city in its worst condition, and still <laughs> its beauty overwhelmed me. Even now, as I visualise how majestic it must have been before the destruction caused by Viovis and Agaris, it amazes and saddens me. I am fairly certain that Denis is not dead, as my father believed. I am convinced that there must be some who managed to escape the destruction, and even now continue to survive in separate ages. With, 
within me, is an urging to take the chance and return to Denis to find these survivors and properly rebuild our city. However, I can do nothing until I am certain of the fate of my father. If my plan failed, if I missed a single book when attempting to trap him on Riven, then he has been free all along. Dun -dun. If that is true, then all that stands between him and the ages I have now written is the link from Denis to Mist. As much as I wish to return to Denis, without knowing the state of my father, I cannot risk re-establishing that link. I must observe my father without re-establishing that link. It has taken several years, and there have been many dead ends. But I have partially succeeded. Now that I have managed to view another age using the crystals, it is only a matter of time until I view Riven. At least I hope. Catherine will have her I Catherine will have her ideas about all of these things, and I miss her greatly. I will return to Rhyme later, when my mind has cleared. So, that's mi oh, hang on, what? <laughs> no, you, 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 you want to carry on just to potter around a bit? No, I feel like this is a hint. A hint? What are you talking about? The game's over. You've, you've destroyed the blue and red books. There's, mm. there's no more game. What are you talking about? There's probably more game. There's always more game. Are you saying that that's just the first puzzle? Give it a sec. Jeez, so impatient. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I'm almost certain those are hollow projectors. It said 40, it gave me a type of type of type of that there. Well, 40 is what you typed type into the projector, which is also giving you this uh, hologram. Yeah, and then I've got 2735. Oh, is that like part of an old clue? It was in the book about rhyme, wasn't it? Yeah. So maybe, maybe I'm just looking at old clues. Well, uh, well, hold on. Because we read. Have you ever seen that book about rhyme before? Yeah, the Denis bit. No, no. Have you seen that book about rhyme before? I recognise the picture. Uh, when we were looking through the books, I remember reading one that had a similar picture, and I swear it mentioned Denis and his father. Yep. I don't think it was that specific book, though. The, the, these things have been mentioned before. But I didn't know if it was that specific book. This is a, uh, a different book. Okay. So I feel like there's another puzzle here. So if I put 40 in, and it... And they've got 2735 as well. Or is this another thing where I'm not actually pressing the buttons and it's... Or is there no puzzle? Am I just reading into this? Oh, there's a thing here. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I'm sorry, it's like, how, 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 how would you know that this thing has suddenly gone down? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I 
Oh shit, you don't know how you did it, do you? <laughs> no! You have to retrace your steps. <laughs> okay. So far, so good, right? What did that do? Well, it sounds like something moved, didn't it? Yeah. You seem to be randomly pressing stuff. I'm pressing it to see what happened, but nothing seems... Well, the same thing seemed to happen that happened last time you pushed it. It made a noise and then closed. The question is, have you just put it back into the state how it was in the first place, or have you just put it into a different state? I feel like that's a different state. So what, what does this look like? There's the rocket. Okay. Where's the rocket? I don't really understand. I think that that's a, that's a fairly good clue. Sadly, you are incapable of climbing a small hill. I am incapable of climbing a small hill. You can't do it in the game either. I thought I'd finished. I wasn't expecting more puzzles. Right, okay. Would that do anything to this? This all looks pretty much as it was. Oh, is it this? Oh shit. Uh, the one, turning. two, three. Okay, so if I go turn it. The noodle, the noodle, the old noggin. This is where I find out that um, Atris is like evil and all wrong. It's okay, I took the batteries out of the uh, smoke alarm. Let's go find out what's happened. If anything has happened. Oops, I keep forgetting well, What's happened is it's the, the whole rest of the game. <laughs> I really, really hope that, like, I wasn't thinking I was right near the end and actually I've, I've spent, like, eight hours, nine hours, however many, 13 hours, I don't even know how many hours. I, like. I don't think it's been that many hours. I think we're on episode, what, 14? Oh, there's a, there's a hole in the wall. However many hours playing the game and thinking that I'm near the end and actually there's there's way more to it than that, which is nice because that would mean that it's a you know, very comprehensive game. Two, seven, three, five. Okay. Good job, you scared it away. Uh, the robot thingy has taken my code and gone. It was all like... Hey, I'm just here to take a number. And you were all pushing its buttons. It was like, ow, that hurt. I'm leaving. Okay, so what did that do? Ooh, there's another book. Yeah. And this goes to... What? That would be rhyme. <laughs> Is this 
it's because whole... you pressed the book. No, I know, but what, like, is this a whole other puzzle? Like, am I starting a whole new game? Well, it's the same game. <laughs> we, haven't, we, haven't, we haven't quit game. Oh, right, okay. You mean alright, okay. <laughs> we've been playing the same game. Very dramatic. Okay. There's a fiery thing there. A big, big door that makes a funny noise. Geodes. Man, these graphics are glitching out. A book to mist. It's cold outside. It's cold outside. I really can stay. Apparently there's some Aurora Borealis somewhere around here. I don't see it myself. Hmm. How peculiar. Can't get near that. Fire on, but I am. This is probably a good thing in such a cold place. Not sure why I've turned it on. Door does not want to open. Okay, I've some, turned on some fire. Let's have a look. Where else? thing up there, but I don't think I can get up there. That's his observation tower, isn't it? Yes. Shaft to the observation tower. Okay, so you got a door. Why yeah. won't the door open? Because it's possibly locked. I don't see a keyhole. Possibly sealed? Maybe it doesn't go anywhere. I think it's just, just a dead end. Uh... No, I think I just haven't figured it out. Yes. Um. Do I need to turn you? No, you're on now. You're, on. you're permanently on. The gas. Okay, so you got a door, gas. Mm -hmm. What else have you got? A mist book. That will take me back to mist. Doesn't really help. <laughs> no. Um, I've got two. You can't do anything with those, can you? Places where I could go have a look at stuff. Got a tap that turns the gas on and off. If I turn that off. I've got a ceiling which doesn't seem to have anything on. I've turned the gas off, so that doesn't work. I just fill the room with gas. Are you advocating that you're just going to explode the room? Yep. How exactly are you going to ignite the gas to explode it? I don't know. I'm just going to stand here, wait for a little bit, and then go and light the fire and hope that I don't explode. Okay. I mean, it's not in line with anything that's happened in the rest of the game, but... Okay, so there's lights... There's nothing else on the horizon that I can see that is useful to me. 
I want to know how Atreus built those pylons. Mm. I mean, that they're like proper offshore. <laughs> Okay, that didn't actually do anything. <laughs> yeah, I knew that wasn't going to do anything. Okay, I've got a poster. Well, that's the crystals and the geodes, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Nothing sneaky about the poster. What? What? What's you thinking about it? Do you, do you want to see some, something? Something fun? What? Okay, go outside and turn the gas off. Turn it back on. Go back into the room and close the door, but don't light the gas. Just give it a couple minutes. Are you trying to gas me? <laughs> Does that actually do anything? I said, don't. Hey, I said, don't. Oh, okay. God, I'm trying to show you a fun thing, and you're going to go and do not fun things. Besides, it's a lot nicer in here without all that cold and wind blowing, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if the door's not opening because I didn't shut the door, because if that's the <laughs> case, we're going to be so annoyed. <laughs> I'm, of course, assuming that, that this is in this version of Mist. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain it's in every single uh, version of Mist. All those weird triangles are cause of uh, um, normal facing arguments, which I guess is because the graphics card is a little uh, too advanced. I don't think you had to wait this long, but uh, then again, Mist is a game about patience. <laughs> so whilst whilst we're waiting for the fun thing to happen, let, let's think, think some more. So. I think I need to close the door, turn the fire on, and see what happens. Because every puzzle that I've had with, to, with regards to an elevator, I have had to close the door. I don't really know. I mean, it's... Well, you said that... Um, uh, is there anything to do with light? The door could be locked, you said. It could be sealed, you said. Yeah. Any other reason the door couldn't open? It's not. It doesn't actually go anywhere. Okay, so it's not, not a door is an option. Yeah. What else? It's frozen. Shut. Okay. So I need to close that door and keep the fire on and hopefully it falls. Because if I look at it... Oh no, it doesn't really look frozen. I don't know, is that... Would you say that's wear and tear or would you say that's ice? Well, I know the solution to the puzzle, so I, I can't really... <laughs> Okay, nothing seems to be happening, so I'm go I am going to, yeah, yeah, for the it, sake it, of... Uh, hang on, no, no, it, it does happen. Uh, let me see how long you have to wait. Because that's definitely snow down there. And this all looks like it might be frost. I just can't really tell. I think that is frost, so I think maybe the door's frozen. So maybe I need to uh, thaw the door. Oh, uh, okay. You have to unlock the inner door first. Ah. Uh. This is the point where you would die of a gas explosion. <laughs> Do the gas thing. No, no, you, 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 you carry on. It, it is an Easter egg. This is his observation tower. Green? 
purple, green, red, green, purple. Holy moly! Hey, that's wicked! That was cool. What happens if you do it in red? Apparently he's making Aurora Borealis. Purple Aurora Borealis. That's pretty funky. I like that. Okay, there's a button there, which I'm guessing... Ooh, button. Shuts the... Ah, more, more reading things. Shall we take a break? I think we should stop there. And, oh, okay. And continue um, another, another, another time. My uh, headset and glasses are causing me some pain. Mm -hmm. It is a classic, a classic issue. Mm -hmm. So. Mist continues. Mist continues. So close to the end you thought you were. I thought I was. Actually, there's a draw. No, no, I'm not going to play anymore. I need to have a break. Ooh, okay. The cliffhanger of I know, the draw. The draw cliffhanger. What is in the What's draw? What's in the draw? If anything. Dun, dun, dun. But that'll do it for now. I'm Raven. And I'm Cat. Thryn. Thryn. <laughs> you hate it when people call you Cat. I don't hate it. Yes, you do. I don't. Every time we come home, it's like... Uh, they called me cat again, I, and I didn't correct I, it because I'm just a worm. I did, don't say worm. that at all. That's completely fabricated. Yeah, you see that face? That's the face of a liar. That's fabrication. That's not true. I don't mind cat. Right. Goodbye. <laughs>